Hello everyone, and welcome to the first of a series of devlogs about a new project I've been working on. For the past four months, I have worked on building a high-performance, open-source voxel engine, which aims to be capable of advanced rendering techniques such as path tracing, all while being easy to use and integrate into your own projects. Currently, it is in very early development. It's somewhat unpolished, not all the features are yet implemented, and the performance is still not where I would like it to be. Currently, it is two standalone applications, one for generating the octree data structure, and one for rendering the octree using GLSL shaders and the OpenGL API. Both use C++. If you want to mess around with the prototype version that I wrote in Python, you can download it from my GitHub repository that I'll have linked in the description. It is two standalone applications as well. Just click play on the generator and draw your scene. Then, click play on the renderer and observe how efficiently it is able to ray march through the scene. Since this devlog covers the entire development so far, we'll start from the very beginning. I started out by making a quad tree generator in Python that allows you to draw scenes with the mouse and see a live quad tree generation as you draw. It then saves this quad tree to a file for you to render later. The quad tree slash octree data structure is based off of this NVIDIA paper, which I will also leave a link to in the description. After the quad tree generator, I moved to working on another Python script that can march array through the quad tree, allowing for much, much faster rendering of the scene than if you were to use the naive approach of checking all the boxes individually. The demo on my GitHub is relatively basic, However, if you're brave enough to go through the horribly commented and structured code, you'll find lots of capabilities, such as non-axis aligned quad trees, multiple quad trees, a couple of fun and interesting debug views, and a few other pretty cool features. After I had the basic technology figured out, it was time to move on to OpenGL, GLSL, and C++, and the GLFW3 library. After quite a bit of effort, I managed to create a script for generating SVOs in 3D, and after a little bit more effort, I managed to convert the octree structure to a bunch of boxes that I could render to the screen. This let me debug the SVO, however it wasn't the actual fancy ray marching technique yet. About a month later though, I managed to implement the actual ray marcher, which, other than just one or two bugs, worked pretty much flawlessly after the first write-up. After a good amount of research on GLSL and OpenGL, and a couple of optimizations, I managed to improve the performance by a few orders of magnitude. Which brings us to where we are today. Two applications, one capable of generating SVOs and one capable of rendering SVOs. So far, this is pretty much as far as we've gotten. The next devlog will hopefully come out sometime next month, where I should have a system and data structure that allows me to set voxel colors, surface normals, and any other voxel data that we might want to add. At which point, I will be able to open source this project and you guys are free to make any suggestions or modifications or try this project out for yourself. Alright, thank you all so much for watching. I really, really enjoyed working on this project so far, and I'm really excited for the next devlog. Hopefully you guys will join me for that one. I'll be sure to leave a bunch of links to a couple of other really cool voxel resources that inspired me to start work on this engine. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.